Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning, and I'm glad to be here. We've got a great show lined up, and we'll get started with our weather brought to us by Haney Tactical Center at the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. Their slogan is, a year's effort is worth a lifetime of reward. So run by and check out the program right there. Now, today's high is going to be 87, low is going to be 75, and water temperature around 83 degrees. Marine forecast will be west-southwest around 6. So that, that's not a bad day on the water. Now, uh, let's take a look at our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Cemetery and Funeral Home, and their, their motto is we're carrying counts. They're good folks down there in time of need. Those kind of folks you want to be around. Okay, and their time today, looking at a, about to get a little bit of motion in it. We're looking at a high tide at 412 this morning, a low tide at 339 this afternoon. Uh, we've got about a one-foot range. It's going to get stronger as the week progresses, though. But the tides, tides starting to look a little bit better than they have been the last couple of days. All right, now, uh, let's take a look at our fish and game forecast brought to us by Mark Coward, Edgewater Beach Realty, 832-6000. And our time dropped there, 7.05 to 9.05, an excellent time this morning. And this evening, we're looking at 7.29, I'm, I'm sorry, we're looking at 6.29, until 8:29, so that is an excellent time uh, this afternoon. So, uh, early and late. Okay, sunset today is going to be at 7:38. Now, let's take our break, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, folks. I'm going to take a minute to read. I got a letter. We're going to read this letter. We're going to take time to read a letter. It's a good letter. It's refreshing to get a letter. We don't get a lot of handwritten letters anymore. So uh, let's, I'm going to just take time to read it because it's good. Hi, Coach. My wife and I watch your show every day and really enjoy it. I, I notice that you always say, do something good for someone today and God bless. So I want to let you know about someone who really did something good. Recently, my wife and I traveled back home to Alabama and passed through this little town of Brantley, Alabama and, uh, and stopped to get some gas. My wife uh, used the restroom and I walked the dog. So we then proceeded to our house in Eva. Alabama. On arrival at our house in Eva, we discovered that my wife's purse was missing. Our, our neighbor is a police officer, and when, when I told him about it, he started trying to find out about where the purse was. Okay, he, he found the place and called, to, and, and to make a very long story short, one of the women who worked at the store, Elizabeth Holland, found the purse and turned it into the police department. And she, and she uh, stood around and, and, and she uh, said nothing had been taken out of it, okay, upon arrival. She asked if there was any money. She was asking them if there was any money in it. And my wife said, well, I think I had about $1,000 in it. And the lady said it, it was, had been more than that. We drove back to Brantley to the police department and was, and was treated so nice. And we also met Elizabeth Holland. Jewel, my wife, gave Mrs. Holland a reward, but she said she didn't want a reward, that she was just glad she was able to do something nice for someone. It's a great, I, okay, the, the wonderful story of a very nice, it, it, it's a great, wonderful story of very nice, honest people. There are still some honest people left in the world. We hope this would make it on YouTube so, so that people would find out uh, just how good some people are. P.S. The purse had $3,552 in it, and everything was still in it. Sincerely, Jack and Jewel Shelton. Isn't that a wonderful story right there? Uh, thank you for sending that, sharing it with us, and, and thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you all uh, for, for doing that. And we, when we say do something good for somebody, we really mean that every day. So uh, uh, it, when something like that happens to you, we want to make sure that uh, everybody gets to see it, okay? Now. Uh, let's jump over real quick to some pictures. They're talking about seeing some stuff. I'm way behind on pictures. Y'all sent a lot of them in later, so we'll get started on, on a couple of them, okay? And the first one, of course, a great photograph, uh, as always, until it's in blowing in the wind. Just see it. Sometimes we'll take that for granted, okay? Uh, and here's, here's a picture of some exciting things. Emily, Emily McCormick. This is something fun to do. Emily out the target practicing with her uh, brother there and uh, Showing how to use safely, how to use it, and all. So these are all good things. Okay, now uh, check out this scamp, Mark Thomas, a big old scamp. 
No Mark, Mark a long time. Mark is a good fisherman. Good job there, Mark. All right, folks, we still have these little scallops. And uh, go ahead and let the kids catch the little scallops but, uh, when put them on the boat. And then when they put them on the boat and get back in the water, you go ahead and throw them back. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't want to take away the kids' excitement from catching the scallops. And we'll try to teach them to get bigger ones. But uh, they're going to get some little ones, and they're excited about it. But uh, be sure as an adult and as a grown-up, you take responsibility to throw these scallops back. A lot of people are sending me pictures. These are not my pictures. People are sending them in. The scallops are still small, but I'm thinking this weekend they're going to be picking back up, uh, getting back right side. Check out this is a great picture here. This channel cat, Lauren Slay, seven years old. Good job there, Lauren. Appreciate the picture. Uh, Marcus Cowell went brim fishing. Brim abiding, okay, up at Deer Point Lake. Good job, Marcus. A uh, little store here, Decatur County Farmer, right over the other side of Tide Ash, killed by lightning. We're always talking about be careful of lightning, okay? Nice catfish here, it's, it's, uh, bass, okay? Travis Page, send his son in. Tanner, good job, Tanner's first bass. I bet it won't be his last. And uh, one more picture here. Sharks are still bad out there, okay? So, got some more pictures, but we're going to go ahead and break off now because we got we got to get set up our video. We went fishing the other day with Bill Allen. And Mayor Greg Brudnick and, and both those guys are fun to fish with. And, and we, finally, we, we've been dodging the storm. I think I've been out eight or nine times this summer. And every time I've been out, the weather has been a factor. We've had to come in. But this time, we really were able to sort of stay to the, to the end of it. And we had a great afternoon of fishing. And uh, it's fun to fish with those guys. And you, when you see the mayor now, you got to tell him what a good fisherman he is because he put it on us. And he, he did a really good job. But it's just fun getting out. So we're going to take this break. And we don't get back uh, uh, before the video. Y'all have a great day and, and do something good for somebody today. But we'll go ahead and take this break and come back fishing with Bill Allen and Mayor Greg Brudnicki. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Get in here, Greg Brodnicki. How you doing, sir? Good to see you, buddy. Bill, what are we doing today? Well, this I guess wind's we'll... supposed to let up. The later it gets, the less it's going to blow. I think we're going to go back in there where we were this morning and try well, to find some of those redfish in there. All right. And then when it does let up, I want to go over there and chase those redfish we should have been chasing this morning. That's a uh, that's kind of a nasty sky over there, huh? Ooh. With that sun being out, but I don't know. Well, folks, we got we just started the motor, started drifting, and the first thing we run across, Greg, that's rain over there, buddy. Yes, sir. Now, if it'll stay on the other side, we'll be okay. You can smell it. We... Get the gaff, Bill. Look at here. Look at here. Greg brings the first one in. About his third Dang. cast. Uh, I'm glad I tightened my drag up. He had an ambition. We're talking about an orange color. Greg, you got an orange? We we're talking about that right here in the middle of the day. Now the sun's gone. Here comes that rain, guys. Great. Right, day. Look at it coming across there. Every fishing trip I've had this summer. It's going to go across there. Put one of them havocs on. You won't be able to throw it though, you know? You'd have to have a lot of weight on it. I know. You got him a little havoc for a snag. Look at the color of that fish. Pretty good. Another 
big one. Yeah. That's all right, y'all catching all the Good release. That's how you release the trout. Good release. All right, Greg, what you got on, buddy? Oh, my. Wait. Look here. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Can you get him in? You need a net? Need a cat? Oh, that's an aquarium trout. <laughs> The lure is bigger than he is. You know how he swallowed. We're in a good little spot here. No, it must be a catfish. All right, Greg bowed up again. What do you think, Greg? Catfish. No way. That oh, might yeah. be a big trout. Think positive. Catfish. He's not on my line. Staying down. He's looking at redfish. Catfish. <laughs> he keeps calling him catfish. Yeah. He does. Man, I'm an expert. We ain't caught one. We ain't caught one yet on this trip. Yeah, but we got out there in the deeper water with this mud. Uh huh. See that? The trout's gonna be there. Where is it? Where's Bill Allen when you need him? <laughs> catfish, catfish man. Catfish king. That's right. Catfish king. Top water. Live bait. Doesn't matter. Bouncing bait. Doesn't matter. That's a nice. Where is it? Over here. Take them around the boat. <laughs> that thing, that's a loaded pole, son. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm glad you caught him. I never would hear the end of that. Are you sure it's a catfish? Oh, yeah, guaranteed. He's pumping like a catfish. He's bobbing and weaving like a catfish. It's a catfish. Yep. If it ain't a catfish. It is. It is a catfish. There it is. That's a nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Bill, you want to mount him? <laughs> no cell cat. Get along that well. That'd be good, good eating. Oh and yeah. Fired on my bag. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Good boy. A fight's a fight. Look at him. Well, we wanted to get some uh, video of fish. <laughs> Look at that. He cooked good, right? Well, I'll tell you, excellent hook set. Yeah. Oh yeah, he doesn't ever miss a cat. There you go. Look at how easy that was. And release. Good job, Greg. Oh boy. You got a tarpon? Uh, Greg got, what did he say it was, Bill? A tarpon? A poor man's tarpon. It is a tarpon. A poor man's tarpon. Catfish and, tar and uh, I'm like fish. trash fish and suck. <laughs> He's catching fish, though. Oh. Boy, he went after it, didn't he? Yes, sir. Man. All right, Greg, hook up again. Good right man. after this little rod of him. Need a net? Probably. He got some shoulders on him. Might be a red fish. What does it feel like, Greg? Feels like a uh, good trout or maybe a redfish. Feels good. I sure hope it's not a cat. <laughs> no, you've already caught across your cat for the day. I don't think it is. No, the way he came not up. Not the way he did. It's a nice trout. Is it? It's a trout? It must be foul trout. hooked. No. That oh, has man, got that to be the nice smallest trout. net I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why is that well, net so little? Hold his head. <laughs> hold his head up. I, that, that's a panfish net. <laughs> that's a brim net. A brim net. Look at that. Yeah, but oh, it don't get hung son, up. Look at that trout. That is a nice trout what there, buddy. That, son. He's almost as big as the one That's I caught. That's a Bill Allen trout. Ooh. That is a Bill Allen trout. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, measure him. Good job, Greg. Yeah. That Even a bad. blind squirrel can find an acre in a while. That ain't bad for a mayor. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. He's got some shoulders on. Don't let him get them hooks in your paws. I'll hold him up there. Yeah. Go watch my 
my gills. Yeah. Good Pretty job. Good. Mayor, Not Mayor bad. Greg, bro, Nicky. Not bad. Your dad would be proud of you, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would be. How big is All right, let's see. Let's measure him. Probably see. about 20. I'll take those 20. 22. Yep. 22. 22. Yeah, he'll probably go three, three and a half. What do you think? Three pounds? Good three pounds. That's three yeah. and a half. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we're going to. Pretty trial. We're going to put him back before he gets sick. He'll be five by tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. What you think this time? Big, but he's, he's. What do you think it is, Greg? Trout, but probably too early. All right. He's just on that move. I'm just trying to get to work. Okay. Oh yeah. Man fish, man. <laughs> you know, I could have had enough for a nice meal tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Oh. After you that all this fish and made that last trip, I was fishing. Even though you're throwing off on my net. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back in and get out and get this. I know, we were just talking about that, but he hit it. Sure did. How far in were you coming in with it? About halfway in. Yeah. It's a, you know, pound and a half. Nice, uh, pretty. Mm, 16 and a half, 17. Yeah. Good job, Rick. All right. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good, Jack. That's good, Jack. Yeah. All right, he's going to go over under me. He hit, it, he hit it full speed. Easy. That's how big. Look at that. He's, is it spooling you? You sure it's a skipjack? Oh, yeah. I thought you had him coming. That gets the camera action. Uh -huh. It must be foul. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, I saw it hanging out of it. Look at that sucker. Good Lord. He's way out there. I know. He's he foul. Was spooling. He was spooling him now. Better you than me. Oh, no, it's probably a tarpon. It may be a tarpon. That's what it is. Boca Grand. <laughs> Boca Grand. <laughs> yeah, it's just see, he was foul hooked up under the. Look at that. Right there, it's on their stomach. Wore out now. Yeah, There's a good size on there. Yeah. All right. You have him hooked. Good <laughs> old man. He's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. He broke it. Oh, not the good skinner wall. What happened? Dad burned thing. Brud Nicky cut me off. He got my good skinner wall. Oh, no. That's always how it happened. Dad burned it. How did he Come cut on. it? Oh, he got under the boat there. He made that jump. All right, I got a camera on now. No pressure. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah. Good job. I think it's a little trout. Or is it? No. <laughs> Well, he did it right on cue, though. I mean, we had a camera running when he hit. That, that's good fishing right there. All right, just moved over on Greg's about third cast. He's hooked up again. Seems Wait. like he's foul. Yeah, he is. What you got, Greg? A little trout. A little trout. Nice trout. Greg believes in an orange color right there. Yeah, I got it on sale. <laughs> got Greg is tearing it up, y'all. Look at there. You got another one. Oh, yeah. Good trout. And a big 
Yeah, you'd have a good mess today, Greg. He hit the front hook, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Pound and a half. Right. Get later on in the evening. The rain has gone away, but the wind sure has. <laughs> Bill, what was the prediction today on the wind? web that fishing out thing that I've got it was supposed to drop to five a steady drop and we were going to of course go over there and fish where we tried to fish this morning but that's impossible it's come straight out of the south it just never let up it's in about 15 I think easy you gotta hook him in the belly short and fat over there <laughs> so you stopped the plug. I mean, you're reeling in, didn't you stop? Reeling in, I thought I had stopped it, and, and I guess he saw it and tore into it. Real aggressive. Oh man! All right, fella, wrapping it up. We mm. just, Greg, we had a good time, buddy. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was fun. Captain Billy. <laughs> we had, yes, sir. We had to do Plan B and Plan C because of the wind, but we wound up catching some fish. Hey, what? now it's not windy. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, now it's getting dark. dark. Well, the sun's about to go down. Oh, man. And uh, we're going to get home at dark 30. You guys did good. That's only 20 minutes to 8. It's a little early Now, you, you about had a grand slam. Just about. If you'd got a little flounder. Maybe All I needed season. was a sailor's choice. <laughs> All right. We're going to head to the house. The moon's coming up, y'all. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.